Welcome here. So good to have you. So if you're just tuning in for the very first time, you're catching us right at the very end of a long project where we have been trying to dial in this axe for Buck and Billy Ray Smith, the wood bullet. I like to call it the bucket bullet, but I'm getting in trouble for that, so I'm trying not to do that. Anyways, we got to hit the benchmark five and a half pounds. So let's weigh it and see how we did. Tune it in if we have to. Losing sleep over this too. All right, here we go. Oh, just set it up from grams from weighing my coffee to pounds. So the scale goes up to three kilograms, so 6.6 .6 pounds. And uh, let's see, let's see what this is. Here we go, this will be very interesting. Oh, 6.19 pounds. Okay, we got some weight to shave off there, hey? About half a pound. Juicy, juicy. She's just gonna use the angle grinder here to get the rough grinding in on the back. And we'll just clean it up on the belt sander. It'll be a lot faster. Rough grinding is done with the angle grinder, or I think it is. Let's see how we're doing here for weight. So just about scrubbed off that 20, 0.22 pounds. Still got half a pound to go, hey? Yikes. Help. Martin's just... Uh, Picking another 1913 train rail here. I'm just going to give him a hand boosting it out of the pile. Don't know if you've seen my pile. This is some of my stockpile of train rail here. Not all of this is train rail. That's not train rail. Bits and pieces here. So where's the 1913 we need? Oh, check this out. Check this out, guys. This is uh, Illinois USA 1919. That's going to be the next series after we're done the 1913. Inglewood, right? Okay, so this is our this is our piece here, 1913 right there. But seriously, thank you everybody. I know I say this every video, and I'm gonna say it every video because I'm so grateful for it. Thank you to everybody who's placed an order for a pre-order for an axe. The queue for the Hudson Bays for September is full, so thank you so much, guys. We still have a couple spots for pre-orders for the 1913 Blackhawk hatchets. And then uh, I have opened up pre-order for October. So if you wanted to get a Hudson Bay Axe from the 1913 train rail, you can still do that. It's just going to be at the end of October. Martin, you're good. You don't need my help with that, do you? Okay, if you need my help, just let me know. You guys, I'm just grinding the axe. You've seen it a million times. Martin, can I leave them with you and you can just let them watch what you're doing? Are you cool with that? Okay. Farted. Okay, so I've ground the axe in the back and in the front. I've brought it down as far as I can go and redone the kind of the beveling in here. So let's see where we're at for weight here. Five point seven eight pounds. I'm left with no choice. I'm gonna have to come in and take a little bit out of here because I'm fat. Unfortunate because I really didn't want to lose the texture. I love forged texture, right? It was just a little bit too wide in here, and that's because I made it one and five eighths. But I really thought that was gonna work itself out because on the last one it was inch and a half, and I was inch and a quarter here, you know. So. 
Oh wow, that's a little bit unfortunate. Anyways, we're gonna take this baby down in here to the five and a half pounds. We gotta do that. I'm dimensioned on every other point. Okay, so some of you are gonna like this, some of you are not gonna like this. The shine, the allure of a shiny axe is, is real. Kinda like it too, not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for forged stuff, but this makes you double guess your decisions. Anyways, let's see where we're at for weight here. So it's 5.57 pounds. So I'm good with that because I wanna save a little bit for after heat treating when I do the final sharpen on here. I don't know how much I'm gonna lose because I've never done that before. I've never actually weighed anything I forged this close before. I, I think we'll lose though. You know, we'll lose that when we get this sharp. I still got quite an edge on there, like thickness wise. All right, we're gonna get this thing in the forge and do the heat treat on it guys. Pretty pumped about that. What a, what a bullet. Look at that thing, hey? Oh, that's so chunky. What I did is I uh, heated it up about three or four times and then kind of let it cool off, brushed it and put it back in the forge. What that's doing is creating some texture on the surface just so it doesn't look so it was like ground. I still want it to have that kind of forged feel. It won't be that deep texture, but it should be a darker, subtle texture, which is better than nothing. So we're just gonna actually let this cool off now as a normalization cycle. And then we're ready to heat it up and do the quench on it, harden it up. Coming in for the quench. I'm not gonna drop it this time. This is just canola oil. That stuff sticks in my nose for the day. Big day, folks, a big day. Okay, let's see if it's still, well, let's see how much poundage we lost with all that scale coming off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's 5.32 pounds. I was at 5.584. And I'm not done grinding. I cannot believe I lost that much. I lost 0.2 of a pound. That was me kicking everything over. Whatever. Let's hope buck and scale isn't quite as accurate as mine. Because <laughs> I ain't coming back. 5.32. That's so hard to believe, isn't it? She's going to be five, just between five and five and a half. Whatever. I cannot believe we lost that much on scale. I could have just stuck the thing in the forge and scaled it and would have got down to weight. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, we're gonna let that bake for two hours. I'm so sorry we didn't get this ax done today. I was super hoping to get that done so we could keep moving on. We're gonna have to just sharpen it up, grind it tomorrow, and then we'll also be starting to work on those Hudson Bays. So, so that'll still be fun, something to do. So anyways, thank you so much for coming along and watching. I did wanna quickly say to all of you who have reached out and said, Tim, we wanna buy the buck and bullet. I mean, the wood bullet. Dang it, I always do that. It's the wood bullet, Tim. Thank you but I am not gonna be doing any selling of the wood bullet. If you want a wood bullet, talk to Bucken. It's his ax, he's developed this. How this all came about was I reached out to him because I noticed he was setting up his forge. I'm like, hey Bucken, I'm a blacksmith, I'm pretty close, It'd be cool to show you some things. And he's like, no way. So he came over, then I went over and realized I had so much to learn about axes and I kinda was like, ooh, it'd be pretty fun to try making the wood bullet to all these specifications that Bucken wanted. So I took it on as a personal challenge in the excitement of that. 
So I'm going to give him this last wood bullet as a gift just for him teaching me everything about axes and whatnot like that. So if you're interested in a wood bullet, please just reach out to Buckin and talk to him if you're interested in one. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we should be able to get this thing done. No, seriously, we should be able to. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Keep the forge lit. Ooh, is that a new thing? I don't know, maybe. I don't, I don't know where these things come from, Martin. I just keep the forge lit, brothers. You know?